Good morning. Today we're going to be discussing finding hope. Take a few minutes to read this definition and this idea of hope. Hope not only covers having a goal, but also creating different pathways to get to that goal. When we look at steps of finding hope, they include future casting, work toward goals, and planning. So when you're envisioning what your end goal would be, or what it would be like to be living in that moment, in that success, that would be future casting. And then we actually have to get to work. We have to figure out different ways that we can get the work done and meet our hope. And finally, planning. There will be bumps in the road. There will be setbacks. We have to have backup plans in order to reach those goals and to meet our hope. Look at the different ways we can cultivate hope. See which ones connect to you the most and share out with the class. Let's see what our teachers are hopeful for. How do we discover hope in ourselves? How do we pass that hope on to others? Hi everyone, Miss Rich here. I would have to say something that gives me hope is my family and seeing the younger generation grow up and what potential they have in life. These are my nieces and nephews. I have a couple that are not pictured and a few that are on the way this year. And it is just a true joy to get to see them grow up and their innocence and just their true understanding of happiness and how easily they can you know, enjoy a day. So I would have to say they bring me immense hope for happiness and, and good times in the future. Everybody, this is Mrs. Vaidya Nathan. My parents first are my biggest hope. They gave me hope that my future would be better. And now my family, my kids, they give me strength. They teach me patience and brings encouragement. They are my hope that keeps me going, moving forward every single day. All right, good afternoon. I want to talk to you a little bit today about the word hope. And I wanted to give you my perspective. At the very least, if you're playing Scrabble and you spell hope, you're going to get nine points. But it's more than that. It's a little something different for everybody. And my spin on this or what I'm about to put forth through this short little video here is just how I approach things. So definition wise, we're talking about an optimistic state of mind. So I tend to use my character strengths to help me stay optimistic about things. The etymology of the word or the etymology, if you will, goes all the way back to some old English derivatives and even the Puritans using the word hope to name their offspring. I went out there searching for possibly a graphic that might have had all the different languages for the word hope, but the only thing I could find was this really easy word search where hope's right in the middle of all these jumbled up letters. So my character strengths, courage, resilience, humor, passion for learning, those are my top four You know, there's a little bit of blend of the other ones too, but I take my character strengths and I put them forward to how I approach each day and each obstacle or hurdle that may come along. So I, you know, I can be just as susceptible to the pitfalls in life and stress, but I try to show up every day and bring my best attitude. So here's a picture of me at a previous employer a few years ago. Ultimately, I was let go. I just didn't share the same vision of the overall organization. So some keys that I've picked up along the way. Optimism, what you bring to the table. I think I alluded to that just a little bit earlier about being optimistic about, you know, if something negative arises, how can we take it and spin it into a more positive opportunity? The word intention, I love this word, is what you put in motion to achieve your desired outcome. Always be creative. Always be calibrating making those adjustments along the way for whatever negative things might arise if deed we're talking about something negative. So for my intro to business people out there, you'll recognize some of this stuff. So if life's going to give you lemons and you're going to make lemonade, you got to ask yourself who's responsible for those other factors of production, cups, the sugar, the ice, 
If it's on you for that stuff, then you're going to certainly want to establish yourself as a limited liability partnership. We're going to seek to maximize the profits. Let's sell our lemonade down at the boardwalk. We're asking $8 for a chilled glass of lemon flavored sugar water is not ridiculous. Bringing it full circle. Hey, if you're a Scrabble fan out there, building off the word hope, if you happen to find yourself with those key letters that you need to spell hope into orthopedics, you're going to get some 50 bonus points for that. But it's also pretty astronomical. Be the reason that someone smiles today. Always look at the bright side. Thanks, RHS. Take care. Hi, guys. Miss Smith here. So for me, it's important to get outside and explore nature, uh, as this is what brings me hope. I've been to many places and seen nature at its best and sometimes at its very worst. However, no matter how many times things are damaged or torn, everything in nature always strives to grow again. Um, so for me, nature brings hope, the wish of recovery, the willingness to adapt, and the ability to change. Have a great one. Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about hope. Now, I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that my family gives me hope, my children give me hope, you give me hope, you do. But that's not what I wanna talk to you about. What I wanna talk to you is about two things that I noticed about hope that are really useful. Number one, hope is one size fits all. You can hope about really small things like, ah, I hope this video goes well. Or you could hope about really big things. I hope that we find a solution for this crazy pandemic. It fits every potential situation. You can use hope for everything. The second thing I noticed about hope is that it makes me feel more optimistic because I'm looking for situations that I can feel hopeful in. I can look to hope to get me through a stressful time. And that is something that is a gift. And I hope that you enjoy that gift.